Hey guys, it's Amber here. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel, Plan a Lounge. And today is going to be a little bit of a different planner video. So, a couple of posts ago, I did a video on the planner items I wish I would not have bought or received. So this is the counter to that. And these are like some of my current faves for planning. I mainly use the Happy Planner as the planner system, but there are other things that I really do enjoy and I am branching out. Without further ado, let's get started. Should I go from smallest item to biggest item? Does it matter? I don't know. Okay, let's just do it. <laughs> so if you don't know, Happy Planner is a disc bound system. And I guess I'll just like show you guys these things in tandem because of how they work. So these are their snapping covers. Excuse this one, it's a little bit dingy. But these are just a couple of the snapping covers I, I have. I love these, they're like a faux leather and they just like really like make your planner pop. I love them. I know these are like super similar, but they're not quite the same. <laughs> And the other thing is metal disc. They are my favorite. I don't care. I do care the color. I'm like super picky. But I love metal disc. I love the way they slide. I like the way the paper slides over them. I like the way my covers slide over them. Um, I prefer them to the plastic ones. I just feel like the plastic ones look a little bit cheap. So I prefer the metal ones and you see I have like a bunch of different colors and these are not even all my discs guys like it's definitely on the no buy list this, this year because I got too many <laughs> so those are two of my favorite specific to happy planner um I have been checking out other people who make discs because you know they're gonna have different colors and stuff that the Happy Planner is not offering. Okay, so let's go to like like paper that I like to use that is just like not inside the planner, but other papers. So I have these three here. Let's start with this. So this is like one of my newest finds. I'm obsessed this is by the arc brand and this came in a set of i believe 150 and the other set is 200 i believe and the arc brand is compatible with happy planner they do the disbound system as well i believe this i initially thought it was about like 350 but when i went and looked at my receipt it ends up being like a little less than six dollars but these sticky notes are some of the best sticky notes i have ever used even better than post-its and i like that i can snap it into my planner i love these and i believe at the end like i'll be able to take it off and reuse it like this like plastic plastics that is used is really nice i cannot say enough good things about these post-it notes and if you have or have not used like Happy Planner post-it notes, this is a no. It's a no dog for me. These are the, some of the best ones, like I said. And these two items I actually received when I went to Go Wild, what, two years ago? I think I went in, was it 22? I think it was 22. And these were actually some free items. So this one you can actually um this has like the 3m um paper on the back and you can actually like put it in your planner but this is just like a long sticky note and if you don't like like these kind of colors you definitely can go with like Erin Condren I love these sticky notes they work so good and like the sticky note is like almost a third of the paper and they are readjustable they go down really good they come up super easy and you can just readjust it if you need like that is so nice these are so nice I love these I love making lists with these um, 
I don't like to waste it, so I'm going to put it back. <laughs> because these are so good. I keep these in my planner in like a little folder because these are, so, I love these sticky notes. And they're long sticky notes, which is really cool. And then this is just a notepad. I don't know about you guys, but I have to have a notepad sitting on my desk at all time. Constantly taking notes. Don't always want to use a sticky note. Like, need a continuous note. Like, like, let me see. I do have some still on here because I leave a lot of them on here. Um, this was just like a back planning that I did. These are two books that I just recently um, heard that about that I want to read. And one is We Should All be millionaires and the highly sensitive person which i definitely am so i want to read those two books so this is just something i like continuously have on my desk because yeah gotta have notes my husband even comes to my desk and takes my notes uh-oh i think i got my lotion on the back of this one this one might be a not so good one anymore <laughs> but it's okay I wasted it for you guys. So these are like the papery items that I freaking love. I love them all. This one doesn't necessarily have to be specific to Happy Planner, but if I found other brands, I love a bookmark. I used to think that I liked the envelopes and although they are nice, I have come to realize I like the bookmarks the best and I will show you in my current <laughs> planner I have tons of bookmarks in my planner because I just love them like one two three four I also love having extra charms and extra like these are all paper clips like every single one these are all like paper clips and bookmarks I I'm getting really into like adding extra accessories onto my planner it's just really fun but aside from adding like all these like planner clips and charms i love to add a bookmark these are all happy planner the other day i was like going through all my bookmarks and my son's like this one's really pretty and i was like but i love this one too and he was like that one's cute i love them all guys i think this is like my favorite accessory by the happy planner not gonna sit here and lie and these are all gonna just be the tools that i like these are let's start with like the actual tools that i love using so this actually came in a double pack and i got them on amazon they were like knitting shears or something like that they're or crochet i don't know they're like specific to a certain other craft or whatever, but I love these scissors and it's not just because they're like super cute and they look kind of old, but it's also because they actually work good. And these ones are my favorite. You can see I have some <laughs> sticker on there. I like these ones because they're tiny and they can cut those clear stickers that you like you like might hang off the side of your planner um, page and you need to like trim it off but you can't really see it these are great so these are some of my favorite and these are just like great just scissors they are super sharp I've had these things for like two maybe three years and they're not dull I don't I don't think they need to be sharpened which is pretty awesome and then this is a palette knife I think this is just like the Michaels brand and I think it was like two or three bucks and I like this to get my stickers up like sometimes I can't get them up and I gotta use some this is another thing I love undo I rarely use this but when I do you just put a little bit on your sticker and then you put this under like you put the palette knife under it and your sticker just pops right on up it is great so these things in tandem are great i wasn't planning on showing this yet but it works really great with the palette knife with the undo but even sometimes i like use my palette knife without the undo because i don't especially with clear stickers like i hate when you put a clear sticker down and you gotta adjust it 
and when you use your finger to like get it up you like bend the side of it and then it doesn't lay back down but with the palette knife you can slide it under there pop your sticker up and your the edge of your sticker is not all bent up and like jacked up and then this is by Cricut I believe the company I think the name of it yeah here it is Cricut um, it's just an exacto knife. I don't know exactly what they call it, but this is one of my favorite exacto knives I've ever had. It's pretty gross from stickers, but it's really soft. Um, I have like the bump. I feel like if you're <laughs> almost 40, everybody has like that writing bump if you like write a lot with your finger, with your hand. I like this because it doesn't hurt my hand right here. And it's super easy to change the blades on these. So these are all like my like metal tools that I, I love along with the liquid undo. And now we're gonna get to all of our other accessories, which are our adhesives and our whiteout. So let's start with the whiteout. I can honestly say this is not my favorite whiteout, but because it comes in such a little whiteout, it is like it's a a white a big whiteout mini. I have like little tiny pudgy fingers, so this works really good in my like tiny little hand. And I mean, I know I don't have super tiny hands, but sometimes this is like even too big for me to maneuver because it's hard for me to like grip things. So I think I'm. I'm gonna be screwed when I get older basically is what I'm saying. So I need something a little bit tinier, tinier, gets in smaller places. So that's why I like this. Not necessarily because it's the best whiteout, but because of the compact size of it. It's great, it works really great in my little hand. And then this is the Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive. Love this stuff. This is my jam and it's super easy to change. I feel like so many planner people use this and crafters, you know, you just pop it up and then you can change it with ease. Of course, it's not letting me be easy right now. And you can just choo -choo -choo and stick things into your planner. And you know, sometimes your stickers aren't as sticky anymore because you've been holding on to them for too long. This is great. And this is like one of my favorite glues because you it's a um it's a glue pin and it works great so you just like shake it up and if you got edges of your paper or your sticker you just put a little bit and it dries clear and it doesn't leave a mess and it doesn't leave stuff super sticky and this is the zig memory system and it's um, this uh, two-way glue squeeze roll. Yeah, this is my jam. And I've had this thing for, oof, two, probably about two years. Like, you don't have to replace it often. And I just realized you can, like, screw this off maybe. I don't know. I'm not trying to mess it up. But those three things are my jams. The last couple things um these are like my favorite writing utensils and this one is the Muji 0.38 um it is my jam it's like really small and it's like really nice writing let's actually get that sticky note that's not so sticky anymore right and that's how it looks it's nice and then this one is a 0.38 and it's by Cinco and it's a 0.35 mm black gel ink pen extra fine ballpoint pen and I thought I was buying these but when I went to go wild I ended up buying these and giving them out to my table mates and we found out that this one is the bomb and this is the one I've been using the most like this is nice black 
this is really black and it's a little bit shiny which I like I didn't think that I would but I've actually been using this one a lot more and look they don't smudge they dry down really nice um, I just love both of these pens like I gotta say that this used to be my favorite this is probably my favorite now um, and I believe it's oh gosh let's see it might be Chinese or Japanese I'm not sure but when I got it on Amazon it came in a 12 pack and it was $8.99 so it's about 75 cents per pen not too shabby these yeah these are my favorite writing utensils um, I have not found a replacement for my white pens um, because I really hate those jelly roll ones they are in my opinion they're trash um, everybody else has like awesome luck with it if you do awesome if you have a suggestion for a white pen please leave it in the description box I would love it and the last thing which is something I actually talked about a little bit earlier I've loved putting extra things on my planner I have like little charms I have this is actually technically a bookmark but I like it in the front of my planner like I have little clips this is a little Mickey Mouse like donut and then I have like this little mini somebody made that for me and gave it to me at go wild I have this cute little crown one in here on this planner I have some other charms these are beautiful I love this moon one it's one of my favorites let me show you guys some of my other favorite accessories and these are just little clips that I've gotten here and there and here are some of it my best friend made me this one and it's so cute and these ones are really cute they're paper and they're kind of chintzy but I think they're really cute and then this little star paper clip I love this I've had it for a while now so those are some of my favorite like decorative accessories and let me bring everything in guys <laughs> these are all of my favorite planner supplies here it's kind of a lot let me grab the last things let me just grab one of them because actually I don't have to because this planner has the planner cover on it and that is definitely one of my favorite planner accessories aside from the bookmarks I think these and the metal disc for like my actual planner planner are like my favorite items for my actual planner and then of course all the tools and you know this stuff is just so exciting if you love paper planning journaling junk journaling scrapbooking all the things that we love as paper lovers if you like this video you should definitely give me a thumbs up like subscribe comment click the notification so you'll be notified when i post content please let me know which one of these items you like and i'll see you in the next one remember to have a beautiful one and to try something new bye guys